Oh, hello. Good evening. Good Hi, welcome, welcome. Good evening. Okay, welcome, welcome. Good evening. Good evening, welcome. <coughs> nice to have you here. Being Poncho, thank you. Let me see. We'll begin here in a few seconds. So be prepared. I hope you glanced or tried to read a little bit of the topic that we were going to cover today, right? <coughs> and remember that yesterday we we began with the first part of unit mm -hmm. one. Sorry. And and we are going to continue with that today. Okay? So I'm glad you are here today. We're going to begin. And the first thing that I'm going to do is take the um let me get over here and get ready for the attendance. Let me go mucha bulla aquí. I think it's Juan Jose. All right. Let me turn off your microphone. Sorry for that. Let me see. Okay, how's everyone doing? Everyone good? Right. I know it's Friday, right? You're waiting for Saturday and Sunday. So I, I understand, right? I understand the weekend is right around the corner, but I'm glad you are here. And um, hopefully the ones that didn't show up yesterday are here today so they can get up to date. We, I hope you saw the recording. Remember that you have access to the video recording on YouTube. On your email, you get the playlist and you can access all the videos of every class in case you want to review the topic or get a little bit more information, right? A little review or anything of that nature. Let me see here. All right. Let me begin. Remember yesterday, I uh, I mentioned to you about the product life cycle. Right? We were talking about that yesterday. And we are going to, hello, Jackie, I see you have your notebook ready. Uh, you ready, Jackie? <laughs> yes. All right, great, great, awesome, awesome. Let me get the list from everyone here. Let me see, control de asistencia. Okay. So get ready. I'm about to get started with the attendance. Let me see here. So while I, while you're waiting on me for this few seconds, maybe you can go to unit one and go to page. We're going to begin on page page um page number ten. Page number ten. So go to your module on page number 10. And you are going to do this activity. And I'm going to give you access. Someone sent something to the group yesterday, right? An example for... Um, it was me. It was, it was you, Freddy? Yeah. All right. And um, let me see. And as you can see, you were like, all right, there were different definitions, right? different definitions for the word appeal like i was mentioning yesterday and just like freddy's had on there it had like one two three different different uh definitions for that word and what i mentioned to freddy's if you notice i gave i gave you the option number two right freddy's which is related to a product the 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 appeal right la apariencia del producto the appeal of the the of a product or service right is it appealing to you right yeah, it's, it's attractiveness, yeah. attractiveness the interest or please or simulate exactly exactly right when you see a product right for example yesterday you were talking about chakalakas right somebody was talking was it you freddy's that was no, talking it was, about it was, uh, it was um carlos no fabio 
One of you was talking. No, it was the other guy. All right, the chakalakas, right, with the Pepsi product or something, right? When they make those products, were they appealing? Were they appealing to you? Le llamaba la atención? Did the product bring to the eye some kind of attention? That's what it's referring to, appealing or appeal, appeal, right? So very good. That's what we're going to do today. You're going to go online, and I'm going to put you in groups, and you're going to do the definitions, but in the business terminology, not the average terminology, but the business perspective or a business analysis on your part, on your behalf. So let me... And that's what we were talking about yesterday. Let me see. Okay. Um, okay. All right. I'm going to take the attendance now. Okay. All right, you ready? Okay, just say present when I call your name. Abigail Guadalupe Perez. Abigail Guadalupe Perez. Okay? No answer. Ana Beatriz Valencia. Present. Thank you. Let me see. Blanca Stephanie Navarro. Present. Okay, thank you. Brenda Erlinda Sainz Villatoro. Present. Present. Okay, you're here? Okay, great. Okay. Um, okay, let me see. All right. Carlos Velasquez. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Present. thank you. Thank you. Diana Yesenia Reyes. Present. Okay, thank you. All right, let me see. Edwin Alexander Ayala. Edwin Alexander Ayala. Okay, no answer. Flor Idalma Ramirez. Present. Okay, thank you. Let me see. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Fredis Vladimir Cortez. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Glenda Laura Celada. Present. Okay, thank you. Let me see. Okay. Okay, I see they called some of you, right? Some of you received a call from administration today. All right, great. Estoy viendo aquí las notas. I'm looking at this. All right. Iris Beatriz Herrera. Present. Okay, thank you. All right, Jacqueline Xiomara Morales. Present. Okay, great. Excellent. Jarvin Isaac Guevara. Jarvin Isaac. Okay, no answer. Jennifer Gisela Lopez. Jennifer Gisela Lopez. Okay, no answer. Let me see, Juan Jose Avalos. Present teacher. Thank you. Miguel Angel Centeno. Miguel Angel Centeno. Okay, no answer. Roberto Fabio Ayala. Present. All right, great, awesome. Rolando Antonio Quintanilla. Present. All right, great. Let me see. Jessica, Janari, Cortez. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. All right, great. 
All right. Okay, Rolando, thank you for joining. You missed yesterday, right, Roland? Yes, I had to work. Okay, yeah, I see. I see, right? They called you, right? They called you today, right, they Roland? Call. Yeah, they called you, right? I see the note here. Let's okay. see who else was, was here. Glenda, okay, thank you for joining today. I see they called you today also, right? Remember that if you miss class, they will call you. They will call you. Administration will call you if you miss class. So try not to miss. Okay. But thank you for joining today. It's a pleasure having you here. Okay. For the ones that were not here yesterday, but are here today. Okay. Glad thank to you. See you. All right. No problem. Thank you for joining. Thank you. All right. No problem. And also, Brenda, you're, you're here also. And Tiana, right? Okay. Great. Okay, class. Yesterday, we were talking about product life cycle on your module, and we will continue with page number 10. Let me share screen. Okay, can you see the screen? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. very good. Very good. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Rolando, can you read, please, the topics for today? Okay. Continue with the product life cycle vocabulary. Create your own answer critical thinking questions. Okay. Remember, answer. We do not answer. Yes. We do not pronounce the W. Answer. Very good, Rolando. Rolando, continue, please. You're doing great. Uh, Friday, September uh, 17th. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, 2021. Okay. 17th. 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 All right. Much a little bit better. Okay. This is my name for those of you that are new. My name is, you can call me Teacher Henry or just Mr. Henry. Okay. okay, nice to meet you. Okay, nice to have you in class. Okay, this is Intermediate 3, Module 3, and this is class number 2. Class number 2. Yesterday was class number 1. So we will continue with product life cycle and some vocabulary. Okay, let's, let me go to the next slide. Now, yesterday, I showed you this, right? This is not on your module, right? This is not on your book. This is something that I put here to help you, to guide you as for your visual aid. Okay, we have product life cycle. We have the four components, right? What were the four components, Fabio? Yesterday when um, we were talking about? Yeah. Okay. The market introduction. All right, very good. The growth, the maturity and decline. Excellent. Yes, that is correct. Those are the elements that constitute of the product life cycle. And that is any product. Okay. I put one on the side as an example. Uh, continue, please, Fabio. Can you read the Pepsi, right? I have your Pepsi. Just, just something to compare it with, with reality. Can you read it, please? Pepsi product life cycle. Okay. It started uh, with the introduction the market in 1902. 1902. Excellent. Or, yes. Uh, between 1902 and 1929. Perfect. The growth phase start uh, being 1930 to 1980. And as you can see, the sales are going up too, right? The growth, sales, and then time. This is the bottom part is time, right? Continue, you're doing great, Fabio. And next, the maturity, it's from 1980 to present day. It's, it's still up. I think it's a good uh, position market. Very good. The Pepsi, and the decline is yet for C. <laughs> Unforeseeable. 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 Future, right? So basically here, the decline 
hasn't yet come, but it's it's ready, right? You can see it right here. It's like eh, it's declining a little bit. It hasn't grown like boom, 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 boom drastically. It has reached maturity. It has reached a level where it's just steady, steady, steady. But will there be a decline? Yes. As new products emerge, so will the sales and the production of Pepsi will eventually in the future. But it says here, unforeseeable. That means there's not an exact date, but it will come in the near future where you will see the decline. Okay, that is Pepsi. Let's look at this one. Carlos, thank you, Fabio, for your participation. Carlos, can we can you read this chart, please? And let's talk about the Blackberry. Right? I put a picture here so you can see what a berry a Blackberry looked like. I don't know if some of you used it in your time or during your lifespan, but basically it was like a smart smartphone, but it had it, it wasn't digital. It had little buttons. It had little buttons that you press like the phone, uh, a phone from your house that you have from from your company, right? It might be just buttons, right? A little old fashioned, but let's look at the BlackBerry. Carlos, proceed, please. Yes. Okay. Um, the rise in the fall of BlackBerry sales of smartphone. Okay, very good. A million, a million uh, devices, right? In million devices. Very good. So let's begin. What happened in 2006, Carlos? In, in 2006, uh, start the sales of the BlackBerry. Very good. Yes, after that, on 2007, start to, to run the sales. To grow, grow. To, to grow the sales in... To, to 2008, uh, continue starting, continue okay. starting, um, 2010 to okay. uh, 2011 uh, is the maturity. Excellent, yes, perfect. Maturity. Um, 2000, uh, I think that is, is starting to decline. Perfect. Sales. Um, after that, in 2013, uh, is declining the sales, the product. Uh, Drastically, right? He's like, <laughs> right? Drastically, like boom, boom, right? Every year is falling dramatically. Continue, Carlos. You're doing great. Yeah, 2014 is continued decline. 2015 is uh, finishing. I think that this product is finishing to decline. And 2016, uh, I think that it doesn't exist. Uh, <laughs> I think because yeah. Yeah. some people, uh, I I don't I don't can found this phone now because it uh, doesn't go. <laughs> yeah, maybe. okay. Okay, so maybe 2021, <laughs> terminated, right? And non-existent, yeah. right? Non-existent. Maybe they don't produce it anymore, right? You have new phones now. But as you can see, this is a product that saw its introduction and it grew. The growth was like, it, it, it was a great peak right until it reach maturity remember you have sales here and then you have time at the bottom okay the time here the time frame and it met its match in 2012 and it started drastically declined in four years in four years blackberry pretty much was non-existent right it existed from 2006 to 2011 five years it grew and in four years, boom, right? It went downhill. So what am I doing here? I'm showing you different graphs 
so you can get a basic understanding about the product life cycle as it is in your module. We saw it yesterday and we're going to see it today. So yesterday we saw terminology, we saw the vocabulary, we saw all the writing part. And now, we, today we are going to apply that knowledge into real action. Okay, let's continue. Any questions? Any questions? I haven't. Okay. All right. Let's continue. Now, if you go to your to your module, right? If you could if you could print it. Remember yesterday I asked you if you it would be wise, it will be better if you print if you print it. Right? If you get it printed, that way you can have it at hand because the activities are going to be um, worked on your module, especially on page um, 11, where you are going to draw your own graph based on a product. But first, let's go to page number 10. Yesterday, um, I'm going to repeat it again. Yesterday, Freddy sent this to the group, right? He sent this to the group, to the WhatsApp group, and Basically, he showed different, different definitions of the word appeal, right? And he already talked about it in class a few minutes ago about which one was the proper, the proper one. And I, I pretty much outlined number two on the WhatsApp group, right? If you want to check it out, all you have to do is look at the WhatsApp group and you can see this word that Freddy shared yesterday. Now, you have other vocabulary here related to product life cycle or related to business. Let's look at these vocabulary words. We have appeal. I'm going to say it and then I'm going to call on some of you so you can repeat the vocabulary words. Appeal, take off, growth, growth. Demand, demand, differentiate, differentiate, buy out, buy out, discontinue, discontinue, feature, feature, withdraw, 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 saturation, saturation. Okay. Now, I'm going to call on Iris. Iris, can you give me the first two, please? Can you repeat? Okay. Appeal and take off. Excellent. Very good. Fabio, next two. Growth and demand. Excellent. Rolando, next two. Hello? The differentiate. Okay. Differentiate. 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 Excellent. Much better. Excellent. Good American accent. Very good. Um, buy out. Mm -hmm. Very good. Perfect. Thanks. Good job. Good job. Carlos, next two, please. Please continue. Feature. Okay. Feature, 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 feature. Okay. Remember, I'm going to give you a little, a little input. When you have two, two vowels, when you have two vowels, it's one sound. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Feature. Feature. Excellent. Feature. Good job. Good job, Carlo. Next to, hello, um, Beatrice. Next to, please. Withdraw. Saturation. Perfect. Very good. Now, saying it, yeah, it might be a little easy, right? Yeah, it's pretty easy. But do you know what they mean? Do you know what they mean? Saben ustedes realmente que 
significan? Do you basic do you really understand what they mean? No. Can you give me um a, a proper definition based on business or a product life cycle, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to put you in groups. Can you read the instructions, please, um, Flor? Go online and find the meaning of this useful term to talk about the product life cycle. Excellent, very good. You're going to go online and you're going to find the proper meaning, right? Just like, just like Freddy's did yesterday. Right? I know you're going to see like different different definitions, but as a group, you're going to have to determine which one is the right or the proper definition for this topic. For example, withdraw, we, you're going to find one that's going to say like, go to the bank and withdraw the money, right? Mm, no, not that way, right? Not from the ATM, right? Where you're going to put your credit card and take out money? Not in this, not in this oh, with product the, life, sorry, right? Okay. I'm going to, you're going to find like the withdrawal, right? Basically, removing a product from the market. Ah, now we're talking about business. Now we're talking about uh, a product life or the product, um, the establishment of a product within the market. Okay, so that's what we're talking. When when you say take off, we're not talking about an airplane. Take off. No, no, no. You're going to find the proper definition related to the product or business. Okay, I know it's going to be a little difficult, but just like Freddie did yesterday, right? He went in research, right? And that's what I expect for the rest of you to do today. Okay. Yes, and yes, Freddy's. I send one right now. Um, oh, let me see. Uh, come on, also, I don't use the phone, <laughs> but I'm going to look at it. All right, thank you. Thank you for, let me see, differentiate. All right, all right. So as a group, you're going to determine which is the proper way to give the proper definition of this vocabulary word. All right, mark a different, all right, be distinctive. Mm -hmm. All right, which one do you think, Freddy? Say you send it. All of you can check out the WhatsApp group. Freddy shares something in the group, and I'm going to ask the class just as an example in totality of the class. Which one do you think fits? Fits with the topic. Which one do you think? Is it one, two, three, four, five? Five is talking about what? And let's look at number five. Felix, can you read that definition, please? <clears throat> number five. Mm -hmm. Evolve so as to lead to a new species or develop in a way most suited to that environment. Okay, here we're talking about the environment and species, right? Species means species, all right? Like animals or the environment. Does that fit with this? Does that fit with this? With the business? Mm, mm, all right, so we can eliminate number five. But the best one, which one do you think it is? I'm going to um, ask everyone to raise their hand. Do you think it's number one? Do you think it's, who thinks it's number one? Okay, who thinks it's number two? Okay, Fabio raised his hand. Okay, how many? Okay, what about who thinks is number three? 
who thinks it's number four. Okay. All right. And we already know uh, number five wasn't the right one, right? So guess what? The number number four will be proper here, all right? Number four will be proper here. And also, maybe, maybe a little bit with number two, but number two talks about a feature, okay? Fabio, Fabio, are you here? Fabio? Uh, yes, I'm here. Okay, uh, number two. You're close, Fabio. You're not incorrect, okay? You're close. But number two talks about a feature, and we already have that here. Separate feature, okay? But it's, they're related. They are related. So you are also correct on my point of view, okay, Fabio? Because it's also you're, you're taking yourself apart from other people or from other products or from other uh, corporations or businesses. So you're in the right direction also, Fabio, but very good, very good. That's what I expect from you, to analyze, to be critical, to be, to work in groups, and then y'all can talk about this, okay? But if you select number two and number four, number four is more, more four, and number two leans, leans towards, that that definition so very good very good now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put you in groups and then you can go online and i want you to debate and then i want you to give the definition that you think is correct okay and then i'm going to give you my input about each each of these uh, vocabulary but first i want you to do your research Okay, all right, so I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. Any questions? Any questions? And for those that are new today, I understand if you're like, oh, teacher, well, uh, okay, it's because we started yesterday, okay? But if you would, if you have the opportunity to watch the recording, please do so. Please do so because this is the whole unit the topic of this unit is product life cycle, because on Monday we're going to do grammar. Okay, on Monday we're going to work on grammar. Like for example, on page uh, 13 and 14, on um, using would rather, would rather. We're going to see some grammar on Monday. All right, so I'm going to put you on breakout rooms. Any questions? No? Yes? Okay, let me see. I'm going to put you in breakout rooms in groups of four. Groups of four. Okay, maybe the ones that are new, maybe the ones that that were here yesterday can help the new the new ones that just connected today. Okay, let me see. Okay, I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. Ready? One, two, three.
<laughs> this, is, this is the reason. Okay. Share the dictionary. A Microsoft app. Ah, okay, because I tried to find in another dictionary and I can't find. I didn't find. I, I found another, another, another meaning. Yeah. But okay, thanks. Cool. Next. Okay. Let me see Take the next off. one. Take, Take off. off. Okay. Let me look at the dictionary. I look at in online. Or compare the meaning. It should take up a one head for two. Okay. Okay. So let's see. I have a lot of definition. The first one is leave. The second definition is take away or remove. The third definition is depart from the ground. The fourth definition is take time off, off from work, stop working temporary. Definition number five says mimic or imitate in a, a, a motion or sat, satirical manner. And number six is remove clothes. Number seven, get started. I think maybe it's take away or remove. It's a right teacher. Mm. Remember, try to look for the word. Put like take off in in oh. products or re pertaining to products or business, right? Like a techni technical word. Yes, exactly, right? Yes, maybe yeah, so but but I. Uh, I don't know uh, what what um, dictionary can use to find this because okay. I use many dictionary and I can find it. Okay. What do you think it means? Take off. Um, in Spanish, is despeja despejar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, but, I, but I can I can find in the the meaning in English. Okay. All right. But you you have the concept. All right, Rolando, you have the concept, right? So imagine, imagine, imagine if this is the product, right? Imagine yeah. this is the product and I put it in the market and it takes off. What does it, what do I mean by that? Mm. Move it. Increase the. Ah, ahí vamos, yes, right? Wow. All right, so you have to think in business in products, right? Just like it is the, the Rolando, you have the concept too, right? And Freddy's, I know you're doing the research, right? That's why you're in groups. So I want y'all to analyze together and what it is just said. So if the product takes off, what do I mean by take off? It's when the, when the product is, is acceptable for the sellers. Okay. Person. Okay, it's accepted, but just because it's accepted, does that mean it's going to take off? No más porque es aceptable significa que it's going to take off. Or Funch is because it's functional for for the the, the I don't know the the idea to the to the product. Okay, yes, that is an element. You're correct, Rolando. That yeah. is an element for taking off. But what do I mean by take off? Please, you when have... the product is uh, a step the grow. Exactly, it starts to grow. When it's like, wow, right? Imagine this, imagine this class. Let's say you're, I'm gonna give you an example in Salvadorian terms, okay? All right, let's, let's go to Salvador, something basic, right? Let's say you go to a pupuseria or you, you make a, pupu, a small pupuseria, right? Mm -hmm. Outside your house, right? You begin slow and then 
you take off. Take off means your, product, your, your yeah. product is your product is finished within 30 minutes, right? You're like, hey, let's talk about masa, right? I, I need, so your that means it's accepted, just like you said, but that means you're sending a lot. Your product is like, Shh, and then you say, you know what? Let's do an another one, or let's make it bigger, or let's go to a place and get a, a rent, a local place, and then because your product takes off. You see okay. what I'm saying? It's like increases, just like it is it, it, just like it is said, it increases your product growth. It's like you're selling it like hotcakes, right? That is takeoff. That means your product begins to be successful. Su producto, su producto ha sido exitoso en el mercado. You see? You see yes. the difference? Okay. Yeah. All right, great. That is take Thanks, off. teacher. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Continue. Okay, take off. One of the definitions that I have right now on the dictionary was the correct. Yes, is. Anything? Well, hello, everyone. Okay, could be, could be. Hello. I'm looking for uh, we are going to we are going to to talk about saturation uh, and we are talking about if saturation is when you have a uh, so much product and less people yes yes that, that is a good another way to say it that is correct all right that means when you have uh, when you have surplus like for example you reach a peak you reach a peak where you're like, for example, you remember when cars were being sold in the 1940s, right? Not everybody had a car, right? But now everybody has car and you reach a point where you're like, you have reached a peak, a, a limit, a saturation of the product within the market, just like Juan Jose said. Yes, that is correct. And it deals with the people also, population. Yes. Very good. Okay, in this case, the product can can be uh, reduce the cost. Yes, it can reduce the cost, okay. right? Or it uh, yes, it reduces the cost because you have more more people buying it, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly, right? So pretty much saturation is where you reach a limit, a limit, right? A peak, where it's like. You can't sell like 40 million cars a day anymore, right? Because you reach a limit where a lot of people have the product already. But yes, you're correct, Juan Jose. Very good. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Any questions? Any questions before I go to another group? No, and only appeal because uh, appeal, uh, the dictionary um, present several. Yes. Several okay. um, situation. Several um, situations or definitions, right? Yes, with with Jacqueline, we think and um, Carlos. The it depend the 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 context is depend of the situation in, in in particular. Okay. Okay. Remember that in the group in the WhatsApp group, the Freddy's shared. And I gave I gave yes. him the, I gave him the answer, right? So I gave him yes. the answer. Yes. Okay. But um, Number it basically two. refers to a product. For example, the appeal. The appeal refers to the attractiveness, right? La forma atractiva del producto. The attractiveness of the product. That's the appeal, right? For example, you see my mouse, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's like blue and and it's solid black here. It's blue, so it's pretty. It's attractive. So to the eye, it's like, hey, I like this product, right? For example, a shirt, right? Let's look at our shirts, uh, Carlos. Like see? like your headphones. Yeah, the <laughs> headphones, right? You see the. It's like, hey, this is yeah. nice, right? So when I bought this it product, has a life. It, it has a life. You see. 
it has a it was like hey i like this right it's appealing you see yeah. <laughs> i can turn it off right or i can turn the volume off okay right and when it's red there's a little red light it means i put it in pause right you cannot hear me right so this is is this appealing was this appealing to me when i bought it yeah right what's attractive for me it was attracted to me it's like hey right it has the microphone here and it goes up right nice Thanks. or i can lower it <laughs> it moves so these are some of the things that are appealing attracting al consumidor as the product is appealing right for example our shirts right my shirt it's not one color right carlos the shirt has squares right tiene cuadritos squares right when you saw the shirt did you feel attracted to the shirt was the shirt attracted to you like hey this is a nice shirt or to someone else right maybe a girlfriend or a sister or a mother would say okay this is a nice shirt for you it was appealing right attractive al, al ojo, right? Attractive to the eye. So it's appealing, right? When you bought the headphones, Carlos or Juan Jose, did you buy them because, yeah, these, no, you were like looking at them, right? Touching them to see how they fell. They were appealing, right? The glasses that you have, Juan Jose, right? Or anything that you buy, any product that is appealing, even produce, right? Fruit. Right? Or uh, ice cream, right? You go down the street and you're like, hey, que, que rico se ve eso. Like, right? And you stop and you buy the product because it was appealing. It was appealing. It was attractive to you. Okay? That's okay. why it's appealing. All right? When, Any when other questions? Something. When you choose something. Okay. When you choose something. Okay, yes. Could you hear me? Me podían escuchar? Could you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yes, I can. Okay, great. Okay, so any questions? Any other questions? Jackie or Glenda or Juan Jose? No? Okay, continue, no. please. Okay, yes? thank you. Okay, great. Awesome. You're doing a great job. Great job. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Oh. Oh, hello. 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 Uh -huh. hello. How are you doing? Tell me. We are reading the definitions. All right. So... And, share, and sharing the definition. Okay, great, great, right, great. Which yeah. one was the hardest one for you? By out, well, the meaning, the meaning withdraw. Withdraw, okay. I don't understand it. I don't understand the meaning. Okay. A, anyone else have a problem with that one? Um, I have buy out. Okay, buy out. Okay, buy out. Great. Okay, any other one? I'm going to help you. Okay, I'm going to help you. Buy out. And the other one was withdraw. When you look for the word withdraw, right, you're going to find like take out cash from the ATM, right? Withdraw, like, like, oh, withdrawals. You get like symptoms when you take medicine. You get withdrawals also. But in business, withdraw is when basically a product, for example. Mm, example, let me give you an example of a car, okay? A car, uh, maybe uh, a Nissan Rogue. Right. For example, okay, I'm not I'm not gonna say that they're bad. I'm just giving you an example, okay? The one that came to my mind. All right. For example, Nissan Road, that's a product, right? And it's sold into the market. 2022. Nissan Road, right? 2022. I know all of you have one, right? I have one already. You already bought one cash, right? 2022 okay. Nissan Road. So imagine that. You buy the product, we all go to the dealer right now. Let's go. I pay for it, right? I invite you. I, I pay for the product. So I buy all of you. 
a brand new Nissan Rogue, right? But in a week, Brenda is like, hey, my car is failing, right? Like shakes. It starts shaking, right? And then like a week later, Beatriz has another problem, right? It's like uh, the steering wheel is getting hard, right? And then I say, oh, man, my brakes are, are not working very good, right? They're like, right? Like, right? And, be, and Blanca or Flor are having problems with the windows rolling up, the electrical window or the air conditioning, right? So we all have problems at the same time or during the same period. A withdrawal, I mean. a withdrawal means that the product has potential failures and is taken out of the market. So it's like almost similar to a recall. El producto ya no puede circular por dificultades, for failures, maybe technical issues. So it's withdrawn from the market. So they're going to call me. Nissan is going to call me. Hello, Henry. Um, we having problem. We are withdrawing the 2022 Nissan Row because of technical or safety problems. So please bring your car back, and we're going to refund you the money. So the product is no longer in the market. It's being withdrawn, taken away from the market for technical issues. It's happened before in the United States, okay, with many cars, not just different brands, okay? So that is an example of withdrawal, a product taken out from the market because of technical failures or a safety issue to the customer or the consumer, that is one. Buyout, buyout is when you, for example, a provider of a product, Right. Imagine the the same the same example with the car, but the products are made in Japan, but some products are made in China. Right. So me as the dealer or as the owner of Nissan, I buy out. I buy out the a production line, lo que producen las partes, and I make it my own. That's a buyout. So I purchase or I buy a certain part of either the distri distribution or the marketing firms or other entities that are part of the market for other consumers. Prácticamente compro los, los, que, los proveedores, right? So I'm purchasing the providers. So I have kind of like Facebook. Remember when Facebook came out and other competitors, había competidores, and Facebook say, I'm going to buy you so you do not compete against me. That's a buyout, buyout. And I'm going to use you to make me grow so I can be bigger. Okay? That's a buyout. Okay, Brenda? Yeah, I got it. Okay, thank you. Any Something like that happens with Disney, Disney, right? Exactly. Yes. Yes, exactly. So if you if you focus in business, you're going to see many people or many companies buy out. All right. So instead of saying, you know what, I'm going to buy you. Right. Disney, just like you said, happened also. Right. With a channel or even with a television. Right. Television. Very good. Very good. Excellent. All right, are you finished? Thank you, or... teacher. Okay, if you have any questions, I'm going to give you a few more minutes and then we're going back to the main session so I can hear your input. Okay? Five more minutes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Yes, okay. yes, I, I think that are uh, synonymous, uh, but in this case, in this case, uh, the take off and withdraw, I, I think that that is a synonymous. I don't know, I mm. because the, the, the withdraw is uh, do you have a product, for example, and that product uh, remove. 
Exactly. Remove, remove the product. And yes. the take off, take off. Uh, I, I don't know. It is uh, when you have a product and the product is increased. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So they're not synonym, right? They're totally mm -hmm. opposite. Like the line. Yeah. It's like this line. One is like. like the line. Yes, exactly. Right. Yes. Withdraw is when you're taking out the product, just like you said, Juan Jose. That is correct. Take off. It increases your sales. It's like mm -hmm. your sales okay. are increased, right? For example, um, what is something hot in the market right now? Right? Um, anything, a new phone or something, right? And the product is like selling hot, right? Yes. It takes off, right? Take off. Means the product is bloop, going up in sales. Okay. Okay. All right. Great. So we, in a few more minutes, maybe about three more minutes, we're going back to the main session. Okay? Okay, thank you. Okay. No or from uh, from recent the pandemic was that they oh. they they really did sell a bit well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even even. Yeah, the recent did sell well, so I don't think they have that kind of problem with the saturation of inventory. Do you remember in quarantine, for example, uh, in Mother's Day, if you if you wanted to to ask, or if you wanted to yes to ask uh, by Ubo app, it the, was... the, the application was saturated. Saturated, that's right. Because the of the the demand of requests. Yes, very good. Yes. It means it reached its limit. It limits, right? It was mm -hmm. like, yes. All right, very good. Yeah. All right. We're going back to the main session maybe in about one or two minutes. So I can hear you and you can share some of your your definitions in relating it, to the vocabulary. Teacher. Yes, Francisco. How do you say rebasar la capacidad? What, what, excuse me? Rebasar, rebasar la capacidad. You're talking about overload. Overload. Ah, okay. Because uh, for this day, uh, for the pandemic, uh, the, uh, overload the capacity, the, right? Okay. Ajá, uh -huh, the, 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 the deliveries uh, overload the capacity. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Right? The capacity was, there was a saturation, right? It was. Mm -hmm. The product reached its limit, so the service, you know, it stayed, it stayed at a peak where it just mm -hmm. went, right? And it wasn't like, yeah, 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 going up, going up. No, it reached a peak, it reached a limit, right? Mm -hmm. The saturation. Very good. Excellent. That is correct. Any other question? Any other questions? All right, great. We're going back to the main station, maybe in about one minute, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Great job. Great job. Okay, welcome back everyone. I joined, I, I managed to join all the breakout rooms and and I heard many different uh, opinions and very, very good, very good definitions, right? Very good, very good interaction also amongst yourself, right? So it's always good to work in groups also and you can hear or talk about different feedbacks or opinions amongst your fellow classmates. Now, back to I'm going to share this. And I'm pretty sure that some of you, right, the majority of you, for the most part, I hope, were able to maybe get a better understanding about this topic, right? Maybe new vocabulary words that you were probably, hey, I've never heard about this, right? 
Hey, I'm not, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you were, you were slowly but surely able to understand, right? And that was the point for you to use your critical thinking. Now, before we continue, before we stop, I think some of you have it fresh already, so I don't want to prolong. I'm going to take the second attendance, and then we are going to continue, okay? Second attendance. Okay. Okay, get ready. Abigail Guadalupe Perez. Present. Thank you. Ana Beatriz. Valencia. Same. Thank you. Blanca Stephanie Navarro. Present. Thank you. Brenda Elinda Sainz. Present. Thank you. Carlos Jose Velasquez. Present. Thank sure. you. Thank you. Diana Yesenia Reyes. Present. Thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala. Edwin Alexander Ayala, okay, no answer. Flor Hidalma Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta. Present teacher. Thank you. Freddy Vladimir Cortez. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Glenda Laura Celada. Present. Okay, thank you. Iris Beatriz Herrera. Present, present. Thank you. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales. Present. Thank you. Jarvin Isaac Guevara. Okay. No answer. Jennifer Gisela Lopez. Jennifer Gisela Lopez. Okay. No answer. Juan Jose Avalos. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Miguel Angel Centeno. Okay, no answer. Roberto Fabio Ayala. I'm here. Thank you. Rolando Antonio Quintanilla. I'm here. Thank you. And Jessica Janari Cortez. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right. Now, back to this topic. What did you put it on mute real quick? All right. Let me see. Okay. Now, these topics, I know you worked in groups. And I want you to, I'm going to call on you, on everyone, except for one person, okay? Yeah, she, she told me she couldn't talk right now. So what do you think on an appeal? Who wants to, I'm going to be democratic and I'm going to ask for volunteers. Who wants to talk about appeal? What do you think appeal means or what is your definition? Okay, Beatriz, thank yes. you for raising your hand. Thank you. Uh, appeal means uh, is a request uh, for public, for money, for information, or for health. Okay, okay, close. Can someone give me another opinion for appeal? When, when you have a product, for example, and that product is very interesting for you or for the other people. Okay, very good, very good. All right, Any, okay, very good. Any other person that would like to participate with appeal? Maybe it can be when, when you, when, when, when start selling a, a new cell phone. Okay. Okay. All right. Very good input. 
Thank you everyone for participating on, on appeal. Now remember, appeal is the, the attractiveness. It's like a magnet, right? Like a magnet, right? It attracts the consumer. It's attractive for the person that's going to buy it, right? That's an appeal of the product, okay? Attracted to the customer, right? Si es atractivo, si atrae al consumidor, it attracts the consumer to the product. It appeals, it's appealing to the consumer, right? Remember that when new products are introduced, they have to be appealing to the eye or to the touch, to the feeling, right? So very good, very good. Thank you for your input. That is appeal. What about takeoff? Takeoff. Who wants to give me input on takeoff? When product has been uh, successful. 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 Very good. Yes, that is correct. Takeoff means when the product, okay, so you have a product, selling a product, right? And it's a hit. <laughs> en el mercado, como decimos, right? Like we say, it's a hit in the market, right? So it starts rising, it starts growing, growing, growing fast. It's, it's like hotcakes, right? And just like um, your classmate said, it begins to be successful, producto exitoso, right? It takes off. There's a rapid growth, rapid growth. Crecimiento rápido, it's a rapid growth, okay? That is take off, right? Your product is taking off, right? Very good, excellent. What about growth? Can someone give me growth? Um, Juan Jose. Um, growth is a uh, one for look. Um... Uh, is uh, increasing. Exactly. Like increasing. Yes. All right. Very good. It is a product that is increasing. In other words, it's a positive, positive graph, right? A positive outlook in the product. So there's a increase. Very good. Yes. Thank you. Let me see. When increasing the ability of an economy of business to produce goods and service. Very good. Excellent, Francisco. Very good. That is correct. Can you, let me see, where are you, Francisco? Can you say it? Can you say it for the class, please? Francisco? Yes, teacher. Can you say it to the class? Um, only share the, 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 the meaning that the thing with me. No, you're correct. You are correct. Can you, I just want you to say it so the class can hear you. Growth and increase, you wrote. Yes, uh, for example, maybe we have the, 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 the example Apple. Exactly. Mm -hmm. the, the company is in, in this moment, I think, I'm not sure. But I, I think that in this moment, the, 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 this company uh, is grow, growing. Exactly. Growing, 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 growing. Very good, very good. That is correct, right? It's growth, right? Because in this pandemic, in this pandemic, technology has, I think, doubled or quadrupled in usage. Very yeah. good, very good. That is correct. It's, Thank you. it's like Zoom. Exactly, Zoom, yes, it's like Zoom. If you were, <clears throat> for example, before the pandemic Zoom, if you were to go, if you were, for example, if you would have bought the stock, si hubiera invertido en Zoom, la bolsa de valores, in, in the American uh, New York Stock Exchange or NASDAQ, it was very cheap. Now, whoo, if you would have invested $500, uh, maybe five years ago, you would have probably quadrupled or quintupled, right? The, the amount of money you would have right now, right? 
because of the investment. Very good, very good uh, analysis there. Thank you for your input. Let me see, um, what about demand? Demand, can someone give me demand for the class? Someone? Peter. Yes? Maybe when the customers approve a product and the sales increase. Very good. And the demand is high. Uh, very good. Very okay. good. Very good, yes. The demand, right? We're talking about the consumer, right? The demand, right? They're like, hey, we need more product, right? We ran out. We need more, more and more. So there's a demand. La demanda que pide el comercio, right? The demand that the product or services uh, relates to either the, the consumer and the product itself or society or even international, right? Very good, very good. Thank you for your participation. What about differentiate? Can someone give me something? Flor, go ahead, Flor. Yes, all right. Okay, it involves identifying and communicating the unique qualities of a product or company while highlighting the distinct dif difference between that product or company and its competitors. Excellent. Well done. Very good. Very good. A very good definition. Very technical. Excellent job, Flor. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Uh, very good. Yes, that is correct, right? That is correct, right? Excellent. Very good definition. I can't I can't add nothing else because that was basically a pretty much a very analytical definition. Thank you, Flor. Thank you. That is correct, right? Basically what she said. Perfect. What about buyout? Buyout. Can someone give me buyout? Something brief or something straight to the point also? Or you can give me a, whatever your opinion is. Anyone? One, two. I, I will not try. Okay, thank you, Brenda, yes. Okay, what I understood about what you say is that uh, buy out is, for example, when you are going to make a product, you buy different parts of your product uh, from different providers. So you make your product, but you have different providers to make one. Very good. Yes. Perfect. Well, well done. That is correct, Brenda. Very good. Very good. When you buy or you, you pretty much purchase, right? You buy out either a production or a vendor that are related to your product or service. Very good, excellent, well done, Brenda, very good. Discontinue, who wants to do discontinue? Discontinue. I want to try. Okay, go ahead. Discontinue refers to a stop doing, producing, or providing a product or service. Very good. Very good, yes, discontinue, very good, excellent. Well done, Abigail, very good. Next one, feature, uh, I'm going to, who raised their hand? Someone raised their hand here, was it Fabio? Yeah, it was me. Okay, maybe you can do the next one, Fabio. Okay, uh, feature, right? Yes, feature. Uh, feature are the characteristics that set a product or service apart from other similar things. Exactly, yes. Los detalles, very good. Yes, the characteristics, right, of a product. Very good, well done, Fabio. Very good, very good, very good definition. Perfect, well done. Hey, hey, y'all are doing great. What about withdraw? Who wants to do withdraw? Withdraw. Someone Me. there. Okay. To take or move out or to remove a product. Very good, very good, excellent. To remove a product, right, from the market. Very good. And so why do we remove a product from the market, right? Why do we remove it? Why do we withdraw it? Because of either technical issues, right, or failures that can affect the consumer or the person buying it, right? 
Those are the reasons why we withdraw a product from the market. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. What about saturation? I heard some people talking about saturation when I enter the groups. Let me hear you, right? Let me hear you. Saturation. Someone that hasn't participated? Saturation? Mm hmm Hello? Intermediate class? Hello? Okay, I have All right, one great. definition. Today, sorry, sorry. The act of result of filling a thing or place completely so that no more can be added. Okay. Yes, it, it's related to that. No more can be added. Very good, very good. No more can be added, right? That is part of saturation. Very good, uh, Blanca, very good. Anyone else that would like to share something with saturation so we can finish this topic? Anyone else? I think else? that is when, when a lot of people want to buy uh, uh, a less product maybe i think okay when everybody wants to buy a product right you saturate the market right okay very good very good anyone else anyone else one more maybe a situation in which a product has become distributed within a market to the fullest possible extent leaving mm -hmm. demand for the product at minimum okay all right very good very it, good it could right. be it could be the supplying of a market with as much of product that is will absorb exactly very good all of you are correct all of you gave something specific in relation to saturation yes very good right where you go where the product reaches a limit there's a limit right so it's saturated I think someone was talking about uh, earlier when I entered the group, they were talking about um, the delivery service, right? Pedidos or Hugo, where, where the demand was so much, it saturated the market to where the service wasn't even available or you had to wait a long time to receive the service, right? So it reaches a limit. Very good, all of you gave very good uh, examples different different points of view as far as saturation thank you for your participation very good any questions about this topic what did you think right can i want at least one or two two of you to give me something like did you learn something from this did you learn something new huh Yes, uh, I think that the uh, some world uh, have um, uh, exactly, uh, um, for example, uh, if you traduce, if you traduce the word uh, to way exactly, is not necessary uh, to apply at the market, for example. Exactly. Yes. Yes. All right. So it, you get... It's because for the context is different. Exactly well well done yes all right very good Juan well, Jose that is correct so this this is where you have to get technical right this is where you have to use technical vocabulary and it doesn't it doesn't apply to everyday vocabulary or everyday speaking right very good very good so I hope you learned something about this and maybe in the future if you if you go into business or you start your own business this is something where it will be applied, right? Where you will apply it. Okay, now let's go to a different topic. Not a different topic is relation, but a different page, right? Different page. Let's go here and, and let's go to page, page 11, okay? We're going in sequence, page 11. Okay, let's look at page 11. As you can see, I'm not adding or, or adding new material to where like, hey, teacher, this is not in the manual, right? But I'm using the manual as a guide and I add different things so we can work as a team and learn better. Okay, so, and let me see, I'm going to call on 
Beatriz, can you read, please? Okay. Teamwork. Select a product known by everyone in your team. Prepare a presentation to explain the stages of the product life cycle in your own words. Use the following questions to guide you. Brainstorm on all the information, information you remember about how the product was introduced to the market. Do you remember some data about the maturity of the product? Did the product decline? Is the product available on the market these days? Very good. Well, very, very good, Beatriz. Excellent. So these are some of the questions that you have to ask yourself, right? Brainstorm. I hope everyone knows what brainstorm is. When you start thinking like, oh, when you start analyzing, using your own analysis, you brainstorm, you do your own research about the information about what we just saw. Do you remember some data about the maturity of the product? I gave you an example here about Pepsi, right? I gave you one about Blackberry. And I did this at the beginning of the class so you can become familiarized with this activity. And now it's time to put it to use, put your own application, all right? You're going to apply your knowledge in your module I'm going to put you back in groups and just like the activity says teamwork. Trabajo en equipo, right? Teamwork, right? So I want you to select as a team, I want you to select a product. Now, I'm going back here and I showed you here, you can go online and find one or you can create your own. You can invent you can you imagine a product, right? You can say, okay, we have a product and then you can put the date like it is here, the date that when it was the introduction of the product. So we have the market introduction here and we have the, the year. And then you're going to put the topic of your product. As a group, you're going to decide on one product, okay? As a group, not individually, as a group, decide on one product. It could be any product you want. Any product you want. You can go online and do it, but what I want is for you to be able to say or translate the graph into speaking, like, the, like your classmates did earlier, right? When, they, when he talked about the Blackberry and the Pepsi product, right? They were able to talk about the graph. And that's what I want from you as a group, to talk about each group. And this time I'm going to take names so I can see who's in the group. And then when it's time to speak, I want the group to, I'm going to say, okay, group one, Whoever's in that group is going to begin either with the introduction, the next classmate is going to talk about the growth, and the next one is going to talk about the maturity, and the next one is going to talk about the decline. Or you can switch it, right? Whoever wants to talk, you decide amongst yourself or as a group who is going to speak about the, the introduction, the growth, the maturity, or the decline, okay? Now, I have two examples here, okay? So it's going to be fairly easy. And you, I want you to use the technical vocabulary. Any questions about this activity? Remember, it's on page, um, page 11, page 11 of your manual, right? So there's the graph already done. All you have to do is draw it. All you have to do is draw it. Select any product. Any questions? Teacher, 
uh, would you mind explaining about this word maturity? Okay. I don't understand very well. Okay. Can you explain that stage? No problem. No problem. The maturity is when the product reaches a level where he it doesn't it doesn't raise it doesn't rise anymore. Okay? It reaches a level of steadiness. Un nivel fijo. Ya no, ya no hay más subidas. Like Coke. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Like Coca-Cola product, right? Or like Pepsi, right? It has reached a maturity phase. And that is where we are today. A mature, it's steady. It's steady. It's steady, right? It might go a like little bit lower, a little bit up, a little bit lower, a little bit up, but it's steady. It's balanced. In growth, it's not the same. You notice here, the growth is just up, up. Decline, down, it's going down, right? Decline, maturity is steady, is steady, okay? Teacher. Yes? Can you do us a favor? Sure, no problem. When we're working on group, can you let us share the screen? Sure. Thank you. No problem. Thank you for telling me. Okay. The, the settings are set to where it doesn't allow, but I'm going to do that right now. Okay. No problem. Okay. It's done. Thank you for letting me know. Okay. I said it yesterday, but today it, it, it took it away. Right. I had it for yesterday, but thank you for telling me. Any other question, uh, Beatriz? Uh, was it clear for you, Beatriz? Yes, now it's clear. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you for asking. Anyone else? Anyone else? Please feel free to ask me, okay? Don't be shy. No tengan pena, como dicen. Don't be shy. All right? You can ask me any, anything related to the topic, and I will be glad to help you. Okay, start thinking about a product, and then I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. And you're going to do activity on page 11. I'm going to put you in the same groups. Is that okay? Same groups? So you already familiarized with the same classmates? I'm going to put you in the same groups. So one, two, three. Breakout rooms. Okay, please enter.
that no. Because that product, uh, who wants that product in this moment? If you have um, AutoCAD, uh, if you want to write, uh, you can write uh, with digital. If you draw one um, houses, for example, if you draw one houses, uh, you draw the houses with AutoCAD and you don't, uh, don't, don't uh, use the Leroy. I, I think that Leroy that doesn't exist in, in this moment. Wow. And well, uh, you told us that um, the, well, what is the name of that product? It's a, an um, Leroy. 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 That is the name. Yes. Ah, yes, Leroy. Leroy. Okay, Leroy. In Spanish, it's Estuche Leroy. It's a tool for dibujo técnico. Ah, Leroy. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, in, in this in this moment, nobody used that product. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's the. Not the... The, you, can drive, you can drive uh excuse me carlos you can drive uh 3d drive no only only drive with the leroy uh with rules and the or, machine or, in or spanish 3D. that machine called 2D. no 3d no oh. yes yes uh, it was very difficult to use uh, the Leroy. Um, for example, I have a Leroy, but it's, uh, for me, it, it was very difficult to use. Uh, you need, um, in Spanish, regla T, and I don't know if you, <laughs> no, I, you yes. don't know that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the, the T ruler, yes, is for architecture. Yes, yeah, yes. For design. Uh, right? uh, yeah. Yes. Yes, I am architect. I am yes. in civil too, and and I use that uh, when I was studying at the university. Okay. It, so it was very expensive. So, in your graph, how would you how would you label it or categorize it? What year did it start the market, and then did it grow, and then it reached maturity, then it declined? In the uh, this, in the eighties, in the eighties uh, years. Okay, all right. So yes, remember, be, uh, be, because draw because, yeah, because as, can. Okay, as a group, you have to draw a graph. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, for the eighties. Years eighties uh, it out uh, market introduction. I think that this was at the seven years, um, and the route for the eighties. Uh, but when began, uh, when was introduced the car uh, for the nineties, okay. uh, the Leroy it was disappeared. Okay. In this moment, I I think that nobody use the Leroy because <laughs> it's easy. It's easy yeah. to in yes. I, I don't know. Is is someone use okay? The Leroy. So I what what I what I would like is as a group, I would like for you to send your graph one person, send the graph to the to the group. Okay. I want you to draw the, the graph on page 11 and use this. Is this the product that you, that you will use? Remember that you were supposed to select one product and then draw, draw the graph like the year. Let me, like I showed you from Pepsi yes. and Blackberry. Okay. okay. So as a group, I want you to send one person send a graph. The graph. Quiero que alguien me mande la gráfica. Uno de ustedes del grupo. And I want you to say the intro, the intro, the growth, and then the maturity, the decline. Okay? And then put the names, the names, because I'm going to take it into account as activity number one for in class activity. Okay? But this is great example, very good example, Juan Jose. Okay. 
All right. Okay. Okay. We're going. Uh, I'm going to try to <laughs> draw right. uh, the graphic. Or you can do it on the mat on the mat uh, uh, in the book. You can do uh, do it on the yeah, book. Jose. Yeah, you can do it on the book, or you can do it here, Juan Jose. However, it's easier, right? However you want, it's up to y'all. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Eighteen. Okay, yeah, so that's, that's when it starts selling in international uh, market. Mm -hmm. I sent you uh, a link, and this okay. link has a graph. Uh, it is okay. a, a presentation, I mean, a slide has the graph about the product life cycle of Heineken. Maybe we could- Hi, Heineken, use, you're talking about the beer? With this. Yeah. 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 That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, this is what I want. I don't, I don't want to interrupt you. You are doing great, great job. But remember as a group, one person is going to send to the WhatsApp group, the graph, okay? And then yeah, with, your, okay. with your name, for example, Fabio, Abigail, and you can put group, um, you are group number, let me go back. Let me see what group are you. I will let you know in a minute, okay? So you can put what group number you are, okay? Okay, okay. Let me come back. Okay. Okay, sorry to interrupt. Uh, you are group number one. Okay? Wow. Okay, okay. you are group number one. Okay. So when you okay. send this graph, you're going to put group number one and everyone's name. Carlos, Juan Jose, Jackie, and Glenda. All right? Group number one and the graph and the name of the product on top. Okay? Okay. Okay. Right. okay. You have about uh, uh, 10 minutes max. Oh, okay. All right. uh, in this in this moment, I'm going to draw the the graphic. Okay. All right. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt oh. you. You are group number two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Number group, two. Group Thank number you. two. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank great. You. you have about. Seven minutes. Oh my huh? goodness. All right. All right. Forget <laughs> it. All right. All right. It's um, we're almost finished with the class. We have like. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it went by quick, <laughs> right? Two hours. Right. Okay. Wait, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> to 2000, 19, 1987 to 2000. Okay, thank you. Okay. Very nice. You are group number three. Group okay. Number, sorry okay. to interrupt you. So when you finish this, you're going to send either the picture or however you want to send it to the group with everyone's name. Freddy, Rolando, Iris, uh, uh, Diana, you're going to you're going to send it with your names and then group number three. You are group number three, okay? You have just about maybe six more minutes, okay? okay. Six more minutes, okay, great. Help my beauty. We have, we have all the stages. Road, we have. Excellent. Uh -huh. Okay, sorry to interrupt you, everyone. Sorry, but when you send this to the group, to the WhatsApp group, you're going to put everyone's name and you are group number four. Okay. Group number four. Okay. 
Excellent. Very good. You have about maybe five minutes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. Hello, Rolando. Ah, you finished? You finished? <clears throat> I can't hear you, uh, Freddy. Yeah, we're we'll finished. All right, great, great, great. Right, everyone should be coming back, right? Everyone should be coming back already because I already closed all the rooms also. Hey, here they come right now. All right, great. All right, welcome back. Hi. All right, welcome back. Did you send... Uh, your pictures as a group yeah, my, to the WhatsApp. Okay. In a moment, I finished. All right, Freddy's. Who was going to send it to the group? Yours. The group you were in. We have uh, to send it to WhatsApp. Yes, you have to send it to the group, to the WhatsApp group. Oh, okay. Sorry, can you tell us the number of our group? We are with Brenda, Beatriz, and Blanca. The number. Okay, the number of your of your group. We, we are, are the number four, four. Flor. Mm. Flor, number four. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Number four. Yeah. Okay, and then it was four groups. 
for groups total. All right, so send your group number and then with the names. Okay. And then we're going to see some of those products that you that you are going to share the way they can be in the WhatsApp group. And either you can take the screen or a picture if you if you drew it by hand, however you did it, or in the computer. Just send it with just one person from the group. One person from the group. Okay, how was the activity? How was the activity? How was it? Was it hard? Was it easy? Was it interesting? It's funny. Ah, all right. It was nice, yeah, right? It's funny. All right. They're learning a lot. Very good. Very, very good. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that, right? Remember that for Monday, we are going to do grammar, okay? We're going to do a little bit of grammar. Today was more technical, okay? Today was more technical or hands-on and, and uh, group interaction and vocabulary and usage. All right, any questions? Did you have any questions about the activity? Any questions, Jackie? Hello, Jackie. No, no questions? Sure. Okay, what well, say? All right, we are almost finished. We have just a few minutes before we finish the two hours, but I want everyone to send um, the, okay, let me see, I have one right here, group number four. All right, product life cycle of Nokia, right? Nokia, yeah, right, it's declining right now also, right? Let me see, I have here, uh, product life cycle stages of Mara 2800. All right, very good. Very good, excellent, excellent. I just need two more, right? Two more. Let's see. When we come back on Monday, we're going to do page 12, page 13, and page 14. Dealing with grammar, using would rather, would rather. Okay, just giving you a heads up. Okay, I still need two more. Faltan dos más, two more. While we are waiting, I'm going to take the attendance. The attendance, the last one, attendance number three. And let me see um, what do we have right here. Okay, Beatriz, you stay today, okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, no problem. If you have any questions, we're going to be one on one. All right. Great. All right. Mm. Abigail. Present. Okay, thank you. Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Blanca. Present. Thank you. Brenda. Present. Thank you. Carlos. Present teacher. Thank you. Diana. Present. Thank you. Edwin. Edwin Alexander. Never entered. Erwin. Erwin Alexander. Ayala. Okay, no answer. Zero. Flor. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Francisco. Yes, I'm teacher. Thank you. Freddy, I'm here. Freddy, all right. Great, you already know you're. All right, thank you. Let me see. Glenda. Present teacher. Thank you. Iris. Present. All right, great. Jackie. Present. All right. Jarvin Isaac Guevara. Never enter. Okay, zero. 
Jennifer Gisela Lopez. Never entered. Zero. Um, Juan Jose. I'm here. All right, great. Yes, you are here. Miguel Angel Centeno. Miguel Angel Centeno. Okay, no answer. Zero. Fabio. Present. All right, awesome. Let me see. Rolando, Antonio. Hi, hi. Hi, welcome. All right, yeah, all right, you're here. Thank you. Jessica. I'm here. All right, great. Awesome. Okay, that is the final attendance. Okay, let me see. Is the rest of the team already send it? Group number three, where's your picture? You have to send the graph. Uh, group number three? Okay, remember you have to send a graph. Let me see. So group number, I still need group number one. I oh, know, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. That is, you already sent the graph, I'm sorry. So group number three, you're good, you're good, I'm sorry. All right, group number four, you're good. What happened to group number two and group number one? Still working. Okay, you're still working on it, okay. You have about one minute. If not, you can send it, if not, you can send it after class, okay? So I will be awake, right? I stay awake till like midnight. So I will be awake till midnight. So I will gladly, uh, I will gladly see it. All right, I will gladly check it out. So group number one and group number two, I will be expecting that for Monday. So we can look at it on Monday. Okay, class. And it was a pleasure having you today. Right, we have about one minute before we conclude. I hope you have a great weekend. Enjoy Saturday and Sunday, and be ready on. Tuesday, I mean, on Monday, right? On Monday. <laughs> okay, class, I hope you enjoy the technical work for today. Have a good night. Take care, and I'll see you Monday. Thank you for your participation. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Good night. Thank you, Thank Thank you teacher. Bye-bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. All right. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a nice weekend. All right. You too, Jackie. Be better, Diana. Okay. Hello, Beatriz. Hi, teacher. Hi, glad to have you here one-on-one. -on -one. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me, okay? I am I am all yours. Okay. Um, I have some questions and I'm going to ask you right now. I don't understand um, the difference between uh, this continued okay um feature okay features features okay great this fe feature is an special word that you can use only for a business mm, or no. you can use in another context you can use in another context okay is the same but, if i say characteristics yes yes Okay. Uh, All right, but the there's just a it's similar. There's synonyms, right? It's pretty much the characteristics, right? But it's it's another way. A feature will be another way of saying el detalle de un producto. Okay, el detalle, right? For example, your headphones, your headphones. It has the speaker here, right? The microphone, right? Yes. That that is a feature. 
right? You don't have it like, like for example, like here, right? You know how some, some headphones, it's like right here by your chest, or you put it, you clip it here, or you have to be like this, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. right? It's already there. That is a feature. That is a feature. And that feature is spatial for each product. Exactly, right? It's, it, it, it's a feature within the product. For example, um, let's say, okay, I'm just giving you an example on the headphones, right? Um, for example, if you, if you buy a new laptop, right? And there is a feature in it where it, auto, it, it lets you, it lets you use the screen, touch screen. Have you seen a touch screen on a laptop yes. before? Okay, that yes. is a special feature, right? Not all laptops you can touch with the finger and it changes, right? Like digital. So those are features. Those are the, like you said, the characteristics, right? Special designs or a special feature that makes the product more, more attractive, right? Okay. For example, it, like I mentioned the laptop, right? If I say, you know what? I need a, a laptop, but I need a, a special laptop where I can just touch. And they're like, hey, we have a touch screen right here, Mr. Henry or Miss uh, Beatriz. And you're like, oh, okay, yeah, that's what I want. I don't care about the price. I like the product with that feature. So therefore I'm going to buy it, All right? Have you ever bought something, Beatriz, where you don't care about the price, you care about the quality? Yes. Yes, right? We have, yeah. right? And there are some times that we can buy a product where we don't care about the feature or the quality. We can go to Dollar City and buy a pencil, right? right? <laughs> yeah, one right? dollar for each or, one. Or, or a trash bag, la bolsa de basura, right? A trash bag, right? You don't care about whether it has a handle and it has a tie, right? I just want a trash bag, right? But if you want special features, where it comes with a tie, you pull it zzz, and it ties by itself, right? You might pay like $10 for five bags, right? But those are special features. Son esos detalles okay. extras, okay? Those are features, okay? okay? Are we clear with that, Beatriz? Yeah, clear. Okay. And the other word is discontinue. Um, okay, discontinue, very good. Discontinue. Discontinue means that the product is no longer in operation. It's discontinued. For example, um, it, what what product did you use, uh, Beatriz, in your um, in your graph as the group? Do you mm. remember your product? Yes, it, it was yeah, as, uh, Nokia. Nokia, right? Nokia, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Do we still use Nokia? <clears throat> Not anymore. Not anymore, right? It's probably discontinued, right? If you go to the store right now, you go to Radio Shack or any electronic store, you say, I want a Nokia. Uh, we only have Samsung, iPhone, right? Apple, right? <laughs> right? So you're like, mm. they are discontinued. Ya están discontinuados. No longer in market, in circulación. Okay? They are no longer in circulation. All right. Or I can, um, for example, if I go and say, <clears throat> I want, um, I want to buy an, an example. Let me see. Uh, can you give me something that is no longer in circulation? Maybe you can have a better, uh, better opinion about this, Beatrice. Can you think of a product that is no longer in circulation? Where it's like, um. Oh, Maybe the tie wire machine. This time, not all the people use these kind of machines. All the people use your cell phone or your computer. Ah, okay, very good. Yes, all right. So it's pretty much discontinued, right? You want to go buy it? They're like, oh, we don't sell that. We don't sell that here. You can't find it nowhere, right? It's discontinued, right? It's no longer in a, available in the market, right? Or for example, I'm going to give you an example, Beatrice. Perfect, perfect example, right? 
And you, when you, okay, when I was younger, right? When I was younger, we, I used to have a VCR. Do you remember a VCR? Yes. Where you put the video in there or the cassette in your radio, yeah. in your car. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. 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 Right. So you, now you're trying to see, right? So if I go to the, to Radio Shack or if I go to, to maybe Siman or any other product that they sell, Re videos or something right in dvd in dvd DVD. right and i tell them no i have a vcr i need a vcr tape right they're like vhs vhs uh, right vhs will i be able to find it beatrice it, no <laughs> right? i don't think so right like they're like man get out of here right they're probably gonna tell me go 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 you're lost or something because that product is no longer in the market, right? Or if I have my VCR and I take it to go get it repaired, <laughs> who, who's going to repair, right? They're probably going to charge me like $100 to repair it because they don't know how to repair it because the product or the, the, the assembly that, that, that made the product no longer sells the maybe a, a ribbon or anything inside the product i cannot buy it to repair it anyways right okay the elements so that it, the product is discontinued okay. okay i understand sometimes i have a little confusion with some words because if you try to translate into spanish yes. in a they give you only only the translation, not the definitions. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So, That's why Google is not 100% like, oh, it's perfect, right? I just put the word it's going to give. You. It's going to give you a literal, uh, una palabra literal, right? A literal word, but not, not the word or the definition that you're looking for, okay? So okay. you have to search, you have to research to get the proper, whether it's the context versus the proper definition, right? But Beatriz, remember, this is a learning process, right? But okay. I'm glad, remember, I'm always open. So in, anytime you have a question, please feel free, right? To ask me, okay. all right? Okay, thank so, you. Uh, I would like to suggest some tools to, to look up some definitions, uh, for example, some dictionary that you can recommend us. Okay, sure. Because sometimes it's a little difficult to to find the appropriate definitions. Exactly. Yes, and remember that in, in well, in basically in English, you have a lot of words or terminologies that mean different things in different contexts right you're like well which one is the correct one right which one do I yeah. use? right so it's a sometimes you might have like 30 different definitions for one word in the dictionary right imagine imagine <laughs> that right it's like right imagine that yes right but um yes i will find something maybe a a, a business dictionary where it it excludes all the extras right all the common the common vocabulary. Okay. And when okay. I find the right one or maybe close to it, I will share it. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank no you problem. very much. Okay. I, I I think that tool it can be useful for me. No problem. Thank you for your suggestions. I welcome that. Okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay. Bye. Thank you, Beatrice. You have a good night and thank you for staying. Okay. The extra 10 minutes. Thank you, teacher, and have a nice weekend. You too. See you Monday. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.